Hey everyone, this is Mir Hafizullah from Kabul, Afghanistan, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Morning, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? Diesel, we're going home today. How does that make you feel? I know. Me too. That's his excited face, if you're wondering. Excited. Hard to tell the difference, but I know my boy. Let's turn this off. Let's get everything ready to go here. And then we will be off to the races. Get my hat on. I need my computer off. Come on, Diesel. We should give you some fresh water. We should give you some fresh water, though. All right. We're going to stop in Balgoni and try and get some of these bugs off the windshield. Just got a message saying that my load has been cleared. Right on, right on. Let's release the brakes. Release this brake and start moving. Let's start giving you something to look at. Lights are on. I'm just gonna give the trailer a little tug test just to make sure it's not gonna fall off. I know you don't gotta do this every morning, but I would recommend it. Hey. Go back there, make sure your fifth wheel is locked, first of all, and then just give it a little tug, just before you never know. There's been some really weird things that have happened in the past to some people. Never happened to me yet, but it could happen. You don't want your trailer falling off. Doesn't matter how many times you double check it, the more the better. Let's see if we can grab us some go-go juice here in Balagoni, Saskatchewan. Balagoni Baloney. Fueler on up, I'm just above quarter tank left, so I'll fuel up here, and uh, the next fuel up will be in the States on Monday. A little better price down there. Ooh, brakes are a little wet, a little squeaky today. Keep my ears open for that, see if that gets any worse. Manitoba sign up here. Looks like we got a new one. Oh no, what did they do? What did they do? Yeah, that's a different one, all right. What is that? Manitoba, welcome, bienvenue. Huh. Okay. So we're in Manitoba now. Where's my welcoming stampede? 
Where's my walk? Here comes the first one! Ah! Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Okay, he's on the way back. Quick hello. <laughs> the little guy's fast. Hello? Hello? Diesel? <laughs> Shit, wow! <laughs> Hey, Diesel. I've got a cow. <laughs> so we got home. Not quite enough time to mow the lawn today, so I'll have to do it next weekend. Britt took care of the front yard here already, mm -hmm. so I don't need to worry about that. And the bonfire side. And the bonfire side over here. Did I lock this? Yes, I did. Yes, we're locked out. Can't get back in. Good. Yeah, and we moved our bonfire pit. Did we show you guys already? Over here, all nicely mowed. Ooh, somebody wants to have a bonfire, I think. I could have weed whacked, but I couldn't remember how to start it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wait till you got home. Shoo, shoo, what you got? What you got there? What you got? What is it? I'll take care from you. You want a diesel? Okay. Diesel, take it. Just like this. It was all slimy. Ew. You can have it. Good to be home again. Just for a short while. We just have that, uh, <clears throat> that family reunion. And, uh, Monday I'm back on the road. I've got to have that load in Wisconsin. Tuesday. So I'll drive all day Monday. Deliver that Tuesday morning, hopefully. And uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, I have a reload. I think it's Wednesday. Oh, either way, I have two pickups. I got to pick up one kind of like a, a boom truck in. Uh, what's going on over there? Thought I heard a door opening. Creepy. Uh, a boom truck in Wisconsin, uh, around Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <clears throat> Then I have another pickup in West St. Paul uh, of like a, some kind of little utility trailer of some kind. It's like a security camera or security trailer. It's got lights and cameras on it, I think. It, I think it's like a mobile security. I don't know what it is. We'll see what it is on Wednesday. And then we come back up here for Thursday and then I'll be back home for the weekend next weekend. So that's our next week planned out. Just going, dipping down into Wisconsin and back. I kind of miss the, the trips. I keep saying that I miss the trips further south. We just, we don't have any routes on flatbeds going down there. Our van division's down there in Georgia and down on the south up the east coast from New England and everything all the time. I kind of miss those routes sometimes, you know? But it, it was always guaranteed if I went down to Georgia and went like up on a route up to Newfoundland or something up the east coast, I'd probably do that twice. I, I, guaranteed I'd be gone for three to four weeks. Which was great when I was single, right? It didn't really make a difference. No one to come home to. And we'll stay out there and make money, right? But now that we've established a homestead here, I'm married. That's the biggest thing. I'm married now. I have a family at home. And uh, we're trying to grow our family. It doesn't make much sense for me to be gone three weeks at a time. It's a little bit long. So since I've gotten onto flatbeds, I've changed divisions. Uh, it's I did this basically to be home more because on flatbeds like you've probably noticed over the last couple of years uh i'm home every three to four to ten days usually i'm rarely gone for two weeks at a time a week is even a long time but about average i guess and uh, it's been working out really well for me you know and i actually make more money with flatbeds too than i do on dry vans so that works out too and i I kind of like it more, <laughs> you know? When I was on dry vans, I would always say that I have so much respect for uh, the drivers who were out there on uh, on flatbeds because I don't think a lot of the people in the cars driving down the road realize that all those tarped loads, all those chains, all those strides, it's all the driver that does it. It's a lot of extra responsibility on the driver on flatbeds. It's a lot of extra stress. You know, you got to make sure nothing falls off your trailer. In a dry van, you just close the doors. You're good to go. If it falls over, that's too bad. You know, clean it up later, but on a flatbed, if something goes wrong and your load isn't secured properly and it falls off the trailer and into traffic, you could kill somebody. 
nobody wants that to happen so it's a it's a little bit more of a challenge and I, I like the challenge I welcome the challenge I like to always challenge myself and you know it's, it's kind of neat you know kind of a sense of pride rolling down the road with a you know a expensive complicated load behind you that was hard to tie down and, and showing it off going down the highway yeah, that's my load back there <laughs> there's that and like I said the the biggest plus about it is being home more often and uh, getting paid more now I'm not saying that it's like that with every company okay uh, don't don't take what I say and apply it to anywhere else because it could be different every company is different it's just the way ours works and the way my routes have worked and maybe I just got lucky I don't know but I'm enjoying it this is the next morning you can tell I'm just waking up I haven't even had my coffee yet I made the coffee haven't had the coffee yet what's wrong with me let's go get our coffee out here why am I sitting on the porch without a coffee what's wrong with me what's up boys what's up we gotta end this vlog though okay get in the vlog we'll start tomorrow's all right not gonna be much to film tomorrow so we're gonna have to make use of everything we can <laughs> so thanks for watching today everybody uh, i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna go get my coffee and start tomorrow's day so tune in tomorrow uh like i said we have a family reunion i'm not gonna be vlogging there or anything i just want to enjoy my time there and uh not shove a camera in everybody's face i just want everybody i'll, I'll tell you about it we have family coming from all over the world sort of so it's a big deal i'll talk to you tomorrow or the next day Take care, and we'll be back on the road soon. Hi, Josh. It's Josh from Lake Bell, Minnesota, and you all are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube.